Last, this is the last lesson about seas and oceans, and it summarizes tides. We are going to define tides. We look at types of tides, causes of tides, and finally effects of tides. So what are tides? What are tides? These are periodic rise and fall of sea level caused by gravitational pull from the sun and the moon. The force of gravity from the sun and the moon has got a great influence on seas and oceans and thus occurrence of tides. The rise of sea water and its movement towards the coast is called floods and the resultant high water level is known as high tide water. The fall of sea water and its movement towards the sea is called ebb, and the resultant low water level is called low tide water. Then what is tidal range? This is the difference between high tide water and low tide water. Note, the sea waves generated by tides are called tidal waves. Tidal waves are sea waves generated by tides. The highest tidal waves are commonly referred to as tsunami. Let us look at types of tides. And for you to understand these ones very quickly, you need to base on the positions of the three bodies, the earth, the moon, and the sun. Number one is spring tides. These are tides that take place when the sun, the moon, and the earth are almost aligned. The sun, the moon, and the earth are almost aligned, almost in a straight line. We have nip tides. These are tides which occur when the sun the earth and the moon form a right angle with the earth at the apex, at the top. We have tropical or equatorial tides. Tropical and equatorial tides. These occur when the moon is at vertical position to the equator. The moon is overhead the equator. We have Perigian tides. These occur when the moon is at its nearest point to the earth. And this means the gravitational force here is high. The moon is closer to the earth. That's when Perigian tides occur. They are characterized by the high tides which are much higher than normal. We have Apogean tides. These are tides with a small tidal range. The difference between the highest and the lowest tide is small. Then we have Duyano or daily tides. These are tides recurring at an interval of 24 hours and 52 minutes daily. Then we have same Diano tides. These are tides recurring at an interval of 12 hours and 26 minutes. Causes 
and effects of tides. Let us begin with causes. The causes for tides are not many, and you have to distinguish causes of tides from causes of ocean currents. We have already covered the causes of ocean currents. What are the causes of tides? These ones are not many. In fact, they rotate around one idea of gravitational force, gravitational pull from the sun and the moon and earth rotation. Those are the major causes. They are just under the bracket of one idea of gravitational pull from the sun and the moon together with rotation of the earth. Effects of tides. Effects of tides. These ones are simple. Tides can lead or they lead to changes in sea level. They may lead to sea level fall or sea level rise. And I believe high tides cause sea level rise and low tides cause sea level fall. Tidal waves generate tidal energy. We have one type of energy called tidal energy, which comes from tidal waves. They generate electricity. Research tells us that this is done at St. Maro in northwest France. Tides cause floods on the coast, and this may lead to death of people. They cause floods. Tidal currents deposit silts or sand at the harbors which hinder water transport navigation. After siltation, the boats may not sail. High tidal waves may flood the coastal settlements this means they may lead even to displacement of people and destruction of property. Thank you.